So Easter's right around the corner and it's a tremendous time for family and friends to just get together. Now, of course, we have the spiritual component that along with me and my family, many of us embrace the original reason of Easter, the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, whether you go to your restaurant or your club or gather around a dining table, it's time for, for the traditional Easter brunch. What we're going to look at in this episode is the top five wines for Easter brunch. We've got a lot to cover. Are you ready? Grab a glass of wine and come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. Now in this video, we're going to look at several things. First, we'll look at the, the basic reason we want to serve wine for our Easter brunch. Second, we'll look at why I recommend certain varietals. And third, we'll look at uh, the five best wine varietals for Easter brunch. Now keep in mind, if, you, if at any time you like what you hear, click like subscribe and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there's a new post. Also, make sure you share this with your friends. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Now, let me start off by encouraging you to, to serve some wine for your Easter brunch. Now, in addition to the fact that I like wine, here are several reasons why it's a, a good idea to serve uh, your wine for this particular special occasion. Now, first of all, wine can enhance the flavors of your food. A well-chosen wine can complement the flavors of the dishes on your, your brunch menu. It can bring out the food's best qualities and make the overall meal even more enjoyable. Now also, wine can set the tone for the occasion. Serving wine can help create a, a festive and celebratory atmosphere and can make uh, your guests feel welcome and appreciated. Wine can be a conversation starter. It can give your guests something to talk about as they enjoy their meal and, and socialize with one another. You know, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, Napa and Provence, uh, whites versus reds, you know, all sorts of things you know, that wine geeks and friends and family can talk about. Wine can be a, a sophisticated addition to the meal and make the occasion feel more special and memorable. Here are a couple of reasons why I'm suggesting these particular varietals. First of all, they pair well with a variety of dishes. Easter brunch often features a wide range of dishes from savory egg dishes to, to sweet pastries and everything in between. My recommended varietals all have flavors and characteristics that, that pair well with a variety of brunch dishes. They're all versatile. They complement spring, springtime flavors. Now, many of these dishes uh, served at, you know, at Easter brunch feature fresh seasonal ingredients like asparagus and strawberries and lamb. My recommended, my re that was easy for me to say, my recommendations have uh, flavors and aromas that complement these springtime flavors. They're refreshing and easy to drink. Now, brunch is often a casual and leisurely meal and the wine varietals that, that I'm recommending won't overpower the food or weigh you down, making them a great choice for a mid-morning meal. How are you doing there? Is this information helpful? If it is, write ASTI in the comments below. Okay, here are my top five wine varietals. Sparkling wine or champagne. Sparkling wine is a classic choice for festive occasions like Easter. Its effervescence and Christmas make it a great match for brunch dishes like Eggs Benedict, quiche, and smoked salmon. Actually, <laughs> almost anything you want to serve or have. Next up is Riesling. Riesling is a versatile wine that can be uh, dry or sweet. Its bright acidity and floral notes make it a, a great match for springtime dishes like glazed ham, roasted chicken, and fresh salads. Pinot Noir. Pinots are a light to medium bodied red wine that, that pairs well with a range of brunch dishes from roasted lamb to mushroom quiches. Its red fruit flavors and bright acidity makes Pinot's a perfect pick. 
Chardonnay. Now I've got both oaked and unoaked Chardonnay. Chardonnays can range from the crisp, unoaked, to the rich and buttery, oaky Chardonnay. So you may be asking, should I get the crisp, unoaked Chardonnay or the rich and butter, buttery? Easy for me to say. For me, the, the simplest thing to do is get them both. However, the other approach is if your food is coming off the grill or has a lot of butter in it, it's a, it has a, a ingredients like omelets and eggs, Benedict, lobsters and baked fish and, and lemon butter sauce. Go with the rich and buttery Chardonnay. Otherwise, if you're more traditional like ham and green beans or asparagus, go with the, the clean and crisp, unoaked Chardonnay. Now my last recommendation is rosé. Rosé is a light and refreshing wine that's perfect for springtime brunches. Its fruity and floral notes make it a, a great match for lighter fare like salads, quiches, and seafood dishes. Now, overall, these five wine varietals offer a range of flavors and styles that can be a great match for the diverse array of, of dishes that typically are served at Easter brunch. They're versatile and easy to drink and a great way to enhance the flavors of your food, set the tone for the occasion, and create a festive and sophisticated atmosphere. Well, there you have it. The top five wine varietals for Easter brunch. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.